Hey there, welcome to my online T-SQL complete course. On this video, I will walk you through installing Microsoft SQL Server on your Windows computer. If you would like to install Microsoft SQL Server on your MacBook, check out my video, Install Microsoft SQL Server on Mac. You can find the link in the description below. From your web browser, go to google.com and type in download SQL Server. The first link should be a Microsoft page. If not, be sure to look for the page that starts with microsoft.com and as a pathway to SQL Server downloads. Click on the link and this should take you to the download page for the most recent SQL Server version. As at the making of those videos, SQL Server 2019 is the most recent version. Scroll down as what we want is the developer edition. SQL Server 2019 developer edition is a fully featured free edition which can be used as a development and test database within a non-production environment. Go ahead and click on download now. Select the location you want the file to be downloaded and click on save. Once the download is completed, open the folder where you have the download file and then double click on the file. If you get a pop-up, click yes to allow SQL Server 2019 to make changes to your computer. From here, click on the basic installation type. And then accept the license and terms. This shows you the default installation location. Installing the files could take 10 to 15 minutes. Click on install. Once the installation is complete, you should have the screen. On the left are some information about the installation. It is possible to install multiple SQL Server on your computer. Each of the installation is called instance. And each instance has its own collection of databases, objects, and users. The default name of the first instance is typically MS SQL Server. When you install another instance, you'd have to choose a different name. SQL Server Administrator is the person who has access to the server since this server is installed on your computer, by default, you are the SQL Server Administrator. The next step would be to install SSMS. SSMS stands for SQL Server Management Studio. SSMS helps us to connect to our SQL Server using a Graphic User Interface, GUI. Another way to connect to the SQL Server is by using a Command Line Interface, CLI. Go ahead and click on Install SSMS. A new page should pop up on your browser to download SSMS. Scroll down and click on the first link to download. And here you'd have an option to choose where you want the file to be saved. I will choose my downloads folder. Open your downloads folder and double click on the SSMS installation file. If you get a pop-up to make changes to your computer, click on yes. On the screen, click, click on install.
the installation will take between 15 to 20 minutes to complete. Now that we have our SSMS installed, you can go ahead and close this. For easy access to the SQL Server, I will add SSMS to my taskbar. And to do that, just click on the Start menu, scroll down to Microsoft SQL Server Tools, click on Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio, right click, and then click on Pin to Taskbar. Thanks for watching this video. For a review of the SQL Server environment, check out my video, Microsoft SQL Server Environment. A link to the video will be in the description below.